Ham souffle with hot rare bit sauce. Mm. Well, it's only 75 cents. Great finds today. World War II. World War II. But these are a bunch of pictures that I got in. And they all are look like they're from women who served in World War II. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the United States of America. That guy right there, that guy right there was the inspiration for Gorgeous George. We'll get to that in a minute. So these look like a bunch of pictures that were assembled. One of them, if you wait for it, is very, very interesting. And World War II, I'll show you. Yes, that is an interesting picture that we'll talk about in a second. But, first of all, these are, it looks like a collection of things that were brought back or taken in World War II. These are from Air Force bases. These are cute little dogs. Of course, those little dogs, you can see the um, emblem there, the military hat. They were born at this Air Force base. Looks like these were taken at an Air Force base in both um, Tinker Field in Oklahoma and also in Dayton. Why does Dayton have a Air Force base? Well, Dayton, the Dayton Flyers. Orville, Orville and Wilbur Wright, heard of them? Yep. So this is this is um, to spook, best wishes, always speedy. They all had nicknames. You can see him here. He's buying some bread, different things. And she's, she's obviously quick at this because she's speedy. But you can see that this is back when you had the different coupons, the different stamps you had. So they had war rations on then. So this, this looks like a stage photo, obviously. And they did have bread back then. So that's how you paid for it. You paid for it with stamps because they had to ration it. This is a great old photo. There's nothing written on this. This looks like a barracks photo. There's a barracks photo. You can see the women here. They, there's one that's dressed actually in a uniform. Has a tie. It's cool. And this is Private First Class Marge from New York. And telling who people who they are this looks like Myers Barrett there's there they are they're posing it's cool in their uniforms there's another uniform shot women served in the military this is this looks like almost like a wedding they all have wedding things here nice thing when you're in the military you don't have to uh, pick out bridesmaids dresses you just get all these and you get to everyone gets to be a bridesmaid and see, she was probably in charge. This is this is from 1944. It's in the tea room in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, company 14. It's a cool photo. This is Lieutenant. There's Lieutenant. I don't know who's getting married here. Maybe the one without the bouquet. They seem, I don't see any grooms. That's also in the tea room. Maybe they're just posing with those. I'm get. I thought that was a wedding, but maybe not. This is an officers' club, perhaps. Um, here we are marching. We are marching. You don't get to get out of marching. This is at Fort Des Moines in Iowa. Also marching. More marching. Presentation. May 1944. Same thing. Now. Now this is this is an interesting photo because this is from his lordship. Um, it is a diner, and this is in Dayton, Ohio. Um, you can see they are drinking and smoking just like everybody else back then. His lordship, who is his lordship? His lordship was actually a wrestler. Yes, he was a wrestler, and he was British. He was he was a bad guy. And he is actually the inspiration for Gorgeous George. Yes, Gorgeous George. He is, it's, there's not a lot of information on him, but he died in 1959, but it's, it's kind of hard to find. But he was questioned in the death of Thelma Hotty Toddy Todd, which is a great name. She was an actress in 1935. Um... She was also known as the Ice Cream Blonde. She had gone to a party, and he was there, his, his lordship, 
and she later was found not living and so he is questioned that case has never been solved i would like to find out who these people are you can see these are 1944 so we are still at war here looks like some nurses here there's someone posing now this 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 is from fort des moines in iowa not an idle minute you can see all the different cartoon figures this is a postcard look at that that has got to be the largest postcard i've ever seen this is from april of 1944 um tells a little bit about what's happening this is the actual size of a postcard this is this postcard three cents so it did cost a little bit more to send this particular postcard this is a postcard fruitcake that's the only way i want to receive my fruitcake but you can see this here 1944 women in service there's one in a tree now some of the other things that they collected they brought back menus this is from fort hotel fort hayes and this is in columbus and this is great because it tells all the insignias everything that was going on then how you could identify different people the luncheon hour the prices i would love to see these prices again whole bass sauteed with tartar sauce and lemon 80 cents or a dollar for the complete one hey, spend the extra 20 cents go with the whole thing cold sandwiches you know sirloin steak two dollars that's the most expensive you can get a tenderloin for 225 that's the most expensive thing on the menu and of course it's a la carte who cares 50 cents for stuffed celery i i don't i don't think i would want that but you can get all kinds of things here you can see the prices and you can see the different places that they are but these uh served obviously military this one this one is from greenwich village inn and it's from september of 45 so it looks like they went out for the evening this looks like an interesting club but it's oh it's a greenwich village inn and this is just another menu and there's the wine list i mean there's nothing you can you can get a bottle the whole bottle is four bucks a dollar i mean champagne was a dollar 25 there um this is the a la carte matter the cool thing about this one is it looks like we know that the hors d'oeuvres for 50 cents splurged had 75 cents for onion soup filet mignon 325 325 325 asparagus tips because we if you've had asparagus it's only the tips you want um they got potatoes they had a chef salad it doesn't look like oh they did have a brandy alexander they did spend a dollar and they had some coffee so this this is a cool little piece of history you can see there that they signed this as well so those are the menus now there is some interesting ones in here this is lois lois is doing something there two girls there to my little baby ziggy boy they had all kinds of nicknames my sugar I, I i can't read that out and then it just says maybe but that is just a great photo it's cool it's nice this is this looks like the same photo from before here we are we're posing and this this is a popular photo now i got i got a, one more photo that i thought was interesting and i'll show it to you in a second now this is this is violet violet standing there and interesting now obviously these were the bad guys still the bad guys i guess um in who we were fighting but this is actually not a picture of an actual german nazi this looks like it's at tinker field in 1945 so i don't know if they had a party they dressed up but these these are stage photos and she looks happy there and they were at tinker field looks like this person i've tried to find information on this person because it did have the name i'm not sure exactly i haven't found in, in the obituary i found with a person with a similar name it didn't mention anything about being in world war ii it didn't mention anything about service so i i, I wasn't quite sure so anyway these are, these are just really cool pieces of history um women served 
honorably in World War II. They had the biggest postcards you've ever seen. And I don't think they were. there was a wrestler here. I think it was just named after him. He was a bad guy. No this guy. No gorgeous George. But whatever happened to the ice cream blonde, we may never know. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and share and subscribe. If you know anyone in the photos, I would love to get these back to someone. They are cool. They are historic.